Hey everybody, welcome back. So glad you're here with me today. Today I have for you a brand new Lats My Jam. And I haven't been on my playlist game lately, you know? Like, Michael Jordan couldn't win every game, could he? Probably. But <laughs> maybe that was a bad analogy. But, um, hopefully soon I will be able to come up with something creative. But I thought for now, eh, I went on vacation, uh, the other week. And I thought, um, I'd share with you a for, for lack of creativity, I called it Digging It Too. And it is just, I made a list of songs I've been listening to lately. And just, it's stuff I've listened to in the car on this trip. While well, riding in the back of the car. So, we'll start off with, um, if you've never been here for Last My Jam, it is where I discuss playlist that I make because I love music and this one is just stuff I've been listening to lately so and I will include the link to the playlist below for Spotify and I encourage you to listen and share and like you could follow me on Spotify and see when I make new playlists because there's always something I'm doing on there um I wish Spotify had more of a <clears throat> social media aspect to it because I would find that fun. Like, I know you could share what you're listening to on your other social networks, but, like, finding music people and stuff is different. Anyway, we'll start with what I've been listening to. Uh, number one, Senorita by Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello. Ooh. That video mm -mm -mm, is so good and it's steamy. Um, yeah, uh, I definitely love the song, love the video. I love Shawn Mendes, and him and Camila are so cute. Even though that disgusting ish meme is out there of them kissing like fish or whatever. Mm. Uh, next is Andy Grammer. Andy Grammer always puts out good songs. And I find them, I guess, I enjoy them. It's a slower one. It's uh, called Don't Give Up On Me. And it is from the movie Five Feet Apart. I think that's with the couple. Or it has that Riverdale, ki one of the Sprouse kids. And uh, the whole, I think it's because they have CF. They can't be near each other which I never knew was a thing until um bad kitty beauty was talking about it because uh her daughter has it and I did not know that like I've learned so many things that I wasn't aware of but yeah um I've been listening to closing time a cover of the semi-sonic song from my favorite dude Curtis Peoples uh, of course, I've been listening to, well, I listened to Lover, the whole album by Taylor Swift for the first time. But on this playlist specifically, I am listening to the song Lover. Uh, then there is, I think this, but at the end of the year when they do their roundup of, like, your Spotify, like, what you listen to while you're this is totally i think gonna be the number one song because i just played it constantly because it makes me feel good and like everyone's on this train right now truth hurts about lizzo and lizzo is just everything you want to be <laughs> like guys you like you know what i'm talking about there's um, a song I first heard it on Sirius XM. It's called Make You Mine by a band called Public. And it's it's like a pop kind of song. It's good. It's catchy. And, and then this one is um, 
I was surprised. It was on the 13 Reasons Why Season 3 soundtrack. And it's called Fuck I'm Lonely by La Lavo. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, Anne Marie. That girl that sings that friend song. <laughs> but it's very catchy. And of course, like, you feel kind of empowered dropping the F-bump through a song. Um... Then there is Norami Motivation. She's uh, one of the former members of Fourth Harmony or Fifth Harmony, whatever you want to call it. And it's very catchy. It's very her, I think. And But, like, I don't care about it. It's catchy. Like, the lyrics kind of don't make sense push together. Like, it's kind of, it, it feels dirty to me. But, like, it's one of those ones where you're just singing and you really don't care. Because you're just having a fun time dancing. Um, next, Alicia, Alicia Cara, uh, Rooting For You. It's, like, her newest album. Uh, listening to that. Then there's Stephen Puth, Look Away. Uh, that is actually Charlie Puth's brother. Not sure if he's younger or older. I think he's younger, probably. And uh, they sound a lot alike. <laughs> and it's good. Uh, Beautiful People featuring Khalid. And it's the Ed Sheeran. And I don't know what took me so long to get on that train. Because it's a, it's a good song. They're both great artists. And that's how it is. Uh... Um, the new Ariana Grande. What's a playlist without Ariana Grande? It's not my favorite of hers. Uh, but it's good. It's called Boyfriend with Social House. So. The, oh, I didn't even realize this till I just read it. Um, five Seconds of Summer. I do enjoy the Five Sauce a lot. And it's called Teeth. And the reason I'm like oh I didn't know this is also on the 13 reasons why which I refuse to watch 13 reasons why and I will not get into it right now because I want to be happy <laughs> uh, slide away by Miley Cyrus which is okay like it's an emotional song for her another Lizzo song popping up good as hell uh, Maren Morris who is fabulous it's called uh, The Bones. That's her newest album, I think, too. I don't know if that's what it's called. I think it is. No, the album's called Girl. Um, but that's good. Um, a song by someone named Alec Benjamin. Like, he has another song out that I can't remember. Uh, but it's called Jesus in L.A. And it's one of those... It's catchy. It's like a mid-tempo song. Not, not like... It's not, like, too down and not too up. And you kind of just bounce around with it. Um, I liked One Thing Right by Marshmallow and Kane Brown. Kane Brown's voice is to die for. I think I've mentioned him on previous uh, playlists. He's a country artist, but he has this really deep voice that you just it's sexy I, I like <laughs> don't go around it it's sexy um dan and shay um hate me featuring juice world ellie golding i just found out her real name is elena um a friend posted about it but i always love her voice and it's great uh next is one that's definitely probably going to be in my top 10 for the year is South of the Border featuring Camila Cabello and Cardi B. And uh, it's with Ed Sheeran from that collab album. And it's just, oh, it's a, it's a sexy time song if you ever heard one. It definitely is. It's like, whew. It's a goodie. 
And, like, Cardi B's rap is really cool at the end, too. Like, the one line I love. I I dropped an album, I dropped a baby, but I never dropped the ball. And that's totally true. Um, song from, a song from uh, Descendants 3, the Disney Channel movie. It's called Queen Amin. And it kind of, like, when I saw it first, when I watched Descendants 3, it reminded me of a Gabby Hanna song. Yes, it reminded me of Gabby Hanna from YouTube and the music she puts out. Uh, but it was Disney, so <laughs> that's that. And if, if you have a chance to watch Descendants 3, do it, because I, re I really enjoyed that. Uh, and, like, I enjoyed all the Descendants movies. Okay. Shane Smokers with Baby Rexa, Call You Mine, because I don't, I'm not a huge Baby Rexa fan, but every time I hear her on somebody's song, like, I get, like, like, I, I get addicted to the song and I can't deny it. Uh... To do a song called the song is called Post Malone, and it's like I party like Post Malone or something. It's Sam Feld and Ronnie, and it's just a fun song. My sister told me about it. Uh, one of the country songs that made the list is Thomas Rhett, a look what God gave her. Another great song about his wife, and he. All his songs are always about his wife, which I think is awesome. And I think they have another baby on the way. So, good for them. Like, for having a stable and loving relationship, because people take that crap for granted these days. I just added this one called uh, What Am I? by Why Don't We? And I know they... Ed Sharon wrote a song with them. I don't know what it's called, though. I have to find it. It might be this one. Um, another country song is Knockin' Boots from Luke Bryan, because Luke Bryan. I just wanted to add a little more country. And then I added The Man by Taylor Swift. And I should have added Paper Rings, because I really like that one, too. Um... Hey, look why I made it by Panic at the Disco because I needed something a little more peppy I wanted. And I added the new, I watched the video for Don't Call Me Angel for the Charlie's Angels movie. And it's uh, Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, and Lana Del Rey. I, it's a very odd combination and it is very odd, but it's actually good. I enjoy Miley's part the most um I am not a fan of like don't kill me but I just don't understand Lana Del Rey I don't get her I don't like her music and I don't understand why people like her like yeah cool for you but I just I don't get it I just don't and that's okay and that's all I have for now uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little music kind of talking, getting to know me thing. Because I think you get to know people through music. Uh, tell me below what you are listening to. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.